think he is the best because I, you know, I didn't see, I'm not, I haven't seen every corner, but in my opinion, from what I've seen, he's been one of the best. Ever, what you think about that? So, um, I caught on to Dion later on because I played football with his son Bucky. He was my quarterback, and Dion has been the guy forever. He's been the same person this whole time. He's shown you that he's going to talk. He's going to <laughs> back it up. He's going to be flashy while he's doing it. He's going to have the confidence. And a lot of people hate that, especially a lot of people that don't look like us. Mm. I hate that. Mm. He's a great father. Okay. Uh, he he uh -oh. does what he says. He's a Christian man. Okay. He'll, he'll go to the the mound, which is for baseball. He'll go to, to the locker room for football. Yeah. He'll go and preach on Sunday, too, if you need him to. He's a great guy in general. And it's hard for a lot of people that don't look like us to accept that. That's that's the real like when you look at the comments all the time, it's usually older white men that are hating on him the entire time in every single comment that's ever about Colorado right now. Yeah, and 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 the crazy part is when when you deal with with, with, with Colorado, like 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 Amir pointed out before we started this broadcast that he has already beat the team's record last year. The last year. Colorado was one and eleven. Now he's three. He started off three and zero. He's three and one. So even if Colorado was was to lose every game after moving forward for the rest of the season, he did not already beat the record yeah. from last year. You're getting more views, more more, uh, more sales. They make the, the the college is making more money. Deion Sanders is a phenomenal asset to. Denver, Colorado, and the Colorado uh, University in general. Over, in general, overall. So it's a win-win. Even if they don't, it's kind of like the Floyd Mayweather effect. People would buy Floyd Mayweather pay-per-views just to see if he lost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was 50-0, but we know Floyd, Floyd Mayweather never lost. But it was just the anticipation, okay, he's fighting this individual. There's a possibility that he might lose. So for the rest of the season, even though Oregon beat Colorado, people are going to tune in, have the highest ratings in in Colorado history, in, Football, in, in arguably, history. exactly, in history, just to see if they might lose. And like you said, they not even worried about the football team. They more worried about Dion. Yeah. They worried about Dion. You said it the other day. They're more worried. Teams and coaches are more worried about beating Dion than they are about beating the team. And that's the crazy part. It's like, y'all are so fixated on, well, I beat the, the Hall of Famer Dion. Dion is... His coaching record in college is, I think he only lost seven games in, in, in entirety. And then in high school, he coached at my high school. They ain't lose. Oh, he was at Trinity, they didn't lose? No. They, I think they lost maybe one or two games. Yeah. For four years. Mm. They won state after state after state championships, back to back to back to back. And then start wearing basketball championships too. Like, Dion, his effect on... Just anywhere he goes, he has like damn near the LeBron effect. Yeah. When LeBron goes into into any place that he goes to, that whole city, damn near state economy goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Right? When he leaves, it falls to shit. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like people hate to see that. And it's like we're it, yesterday's game, he took it with class. Like shit. It was a ass whooping. <laughs> he said that it was an old fashioned <laughs> butt whooping. Yeah. And it was but he also said in the beginning of the season we are not even at our best we don't have an o-line or a d-line the skill players can match up against anybody but they don't have the time shador got hit over and over and over again they don't have nobody that's protecting him yeah but next year when warren sap joins that team yeah, as yeah. a coach yeah, yeah, that yeah. o-line and d-line are about to be something serious so y'all yeah. better beat them now, because he said that in the press conference, he said, "Y'all better give me now, because it's gonna be worse than we ever be." And I'm, and I'm, and, and, and you know what, bro? I'm, I'm glad that people like Warren Sapp, an, another Hall of Famer, is is going to take the necessary steps to join Deion Sanders, so so that program could go to the next level, and then they can teach some of these other young men that are trying to get in the position that they once were to another level inside of their craft. You know, you get a lot of the high school coaches, which is nothing wrong with that. You got a lot of these little league coaches and these college coaches that hadn't made it to the level of Warren Sapp. So I actually commend Warren Sapp for wanting to join the Colorado Buffs to help. I seen Dion, I mean, I seen uh, Warren Sapp talking about uh, 
I understand the fight, the, the system about five steps to the quarterback. We know Warren Sapp was like illegally a freak, a monster in that particular position. So the fact that Warren Sapp is going to join Deion Sanders as another Hall of Famer that has played the game at the highest level that you could play, I commend Warren Sapp. I appreciate you, Warren Sapp. And I hope some other players, you know, people like Ray Lewis, because Ray Lewis is motivational. Yeah. Deion Sanders is motivational. Warren Sapp is motivational. Like, you really got their energy alone. Their aura alone just brings energy, man. You know, so I hope some more NFL players, man, get over there, get behind Dion, and take that that football program to an NFL style.